Hi students, this is Mr. Panico and I'm going to give you a tutorial on PhotoStory 3. PhotoStory 3 is a, is a software that you can download from Microsoft. It's free and you can use it to make streaming video presentations. All you need to do is find photos or slides that you want in your presentation. For example, here you see I have the shuttle program. I have different slides that I found on the internet and I put them all together and then I can make voice over, voice narration for each slide, also music, music uh, overlay, and I turn it into a, a streaming video uh, presentation that I can put up on YouTube or TeacherTube. Students can use this for homework assignments, teachers can use this for supplemental lessons, and uh, you, can, you can of course use this at home for your friends and family. Okay, so how can we download it? Go to Google and put in Photo Story 3. Notice that Photo Story is actually two words, not one. Click on the Google search, and the first link at the top of the page will take you to the Microsoft website where you can download the software. So I'll click on that, and then you see this page, like an introduction to the software. You click on the Download Photo Story 3 link or this arrow. Both will take you to the same page and before you can download it first Microsoft wants to make sure you have a valid um, XP uh, operating system or Vista operating system so you have to click on the continue button and um, I've done that before but when you click on it you might have a window come up that then asks you to validate your operating system if that happens uh, do that and then it will take you to this download page where there is a download button so I'm going to click on that and then another little window will come up and uh, this window says do you want to run the software or save the software if you click on run the software will download and then automatically install itself so if you click on that uh, you may want to first turn off all other uh, software that you have running and then click on run if you want to save it the software to your desktop first then click on save and uh, dialog box will come up and say where do you want to save it well you can save it on your desktop or anywhere you want just uh, know where you're saving it and then click save and it'll download to in this case my uh, desktop then I would double click on that file and it would install or again I could click the run button and it will install okay Okay, after you install the software, you'll notice that the icon for the software is not on your desktop. So you have to go find the icon in your All Programs list. So what you do is you go down to uh, the corner of your desktop where you have the green Start button. Click on it and then go to All Programs where you have all your icons to start your, your software. And notice that the Photo Story 3 for Windows was uh, placed at the very end of your software list so here you can simply click on it and start the software or if you want this icon on your desktop you can right click on it that's a right click and drag it off onto the desktop let go of it and then click on copy here and now you've got the photo story icon on your desktop so you can always start it from your desktop now okay so you've downloaded and installed the software open it up and uh, so now let's look at the steps that are required to create a video presentation And by the way video presentations or streaming videos also called podcasts as well um, so there's I'm gonna give you an overview of the five steps quickly here the first step is when you first open up the software you import and arrange your pictures if you look at the top of uh, the software you'll see that title there so here's where you'd pick your your pictures put them in the order you want them then you click on the next button and it takes you to the second step which is add titles to your pictures if you wanted to put a title onto a picture you do it here in the second step click next go to the third step uh, here's where you narrate your pictures and customize the motion so here's where you would record your voice on each of the images and if you want to you can customize the motion of the camera panning over the uh, images then the fourth step click the next button 
And the fourth step is add background music if you want to. You don't have to. And um, if you have a voiceover on these uh, slides, then you may want to keep the background music low so that it doesn't drown out your voice. Then the fifth step, click the next button again. Fifth step is save your story. And save your story means uh, turn it into an actual video file that you can then put up on the web. So that's a short overview.